Assalamualaikum, my name is Liana Izni bin Tirithwai. I am from GBU 2404C and today I will be presenting about digital workforce presentation. Without having so much time, let's get started. First and foremost, what is crowdsourcing? Crowdsourcing involves obtaining work, information or opinions from a large group of people who submit their data via the internet, social media and smartphone applications. The platform that I had registered for this assignment are Freelancer, Irezaki, Jobstreet, LinkedIn and Indeed. The most useful platform for me is Freelancer. I used to bid and mostly focus on that. Next is the online payment gallery. In order to achieve full profile completion, this is the account that I have registered with PayPal. What is PayPal? PayPal is an online payment system that makes payment for things online and sending and receiving money safe and secure. PayPal will ensure all transactions or payment received are secure and confirmed from all the platform to this account. Throughout this semester, I had achieved 54 bids, which include 4 contests in it. The platform that I used to achieve this are Freelancer and Jobstreet. From Freelancer, I used to have 48 bids and 4 contests, in total up to 52 bids. For Jobstreet, I only bid for 2 jobs only. Moving on to the next slide, I have not received any job awards from recruiters. I acknowledge that perhaps I may not possess the qualification required to hold certain positions or handle certain jobs, but I remain determined to enhance my skill and abilities to effectively carry out assigned tasks. Furthermore, I have been unable to generate any income from various platforms to which I have applied for work. It is possible that my lack of experience or the absence of reviews on my profile has made it difficult for recruiters to include my name in their shortlist. This is the star rating for the first contest that I joined. I got one star from the client for making a book and journal cover. For contest 2, I also got one star. This required me quite some time to make the poster done since it required lots of things. It is the contest of Postcard Square for PSM Estate. For contest 3, I designed a CJ's Pizza logo, but I didn't manage to get a star. So we jumped to the contest 4 which I got 2 stars in designing the t-shirt design for the brand. Moving on to the SWOT analysis. SWOT analysis stands for strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and traits. A personal SWOT analysis is a tool that could provide an individual perspective in pursuing their career goals. By using SWOT analysis, it provides insight based on my personality's rank, weaknesses, and the opportunities I present now. Also, in the future as a freelancer in crowdsourcing platform. First is strength. The strength that I notice in myself are I am good at using Canva and editing. I also consisted in bidding for the job that suit my skills and expertise. And I am ready to be exposed to real world projects. Next is weaknesses. The weaknesses that I notice in myself are I am lack of experience in using the crowdsourcing platform since I am still a newbie. Next is the competition between experienced freelancers and me as a new user on the crowdsourcing platform. I also noticed that I lack of time management. It is quite hard for me to consistent in bidding the job or joining the contest since I am still studying and need to focus also for my other assignments and classes. Next is opportunities. The opportunities when using this crowdsourcing platform is faster valuable relationship and potential future career opportunities. People also can earn extra income through the platform while having flexible working schedule and work from home. Last but not least is threats. Some threats that I notice is rejected work and zero rating feedback from client. It is so challenging and sad to be rejected by the client regarding your work. Sometimes the client used to rate the plagiarism design or entry and tend to give those people high rating stars. Other than that, high competitive with worldwide expertise and professional freelancers is also one of the threats. It is because 
The platform is used worldwide, so me as a newbie who likes skill and experience feel challenged to compete with those people. And that's the end of the presentation. Thank you for making the time watching this video and thank you to Madam Sasai for having me. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.